as a nurse clinical factor, I was overwhelmed with emotion as I walked through a gap in the Berlin Wall. This ugly structure was a massive barrier to freedom and a painful symbol of Germany's long division. During that time, um, millions of Eastern, Eastern Germans were plunged into the darkness as their leaders tried to keep them off from the outside information, but it didn't last. Despite their physical division, the German people had two powerful weapons that can uh, penetrate even the toughest barriers, technology and information. During that time, to overcome the propaganda and break the information blockade in the East, West, uh, West Germany used the power of TV and radio technology to broadcast information into the, their East German brothers' sisters to helping their op minds open and change the country from within. Uh, so at that time, Almost everybody in the East could receive these signals, except for a few isolated areas. So these places has become known as the Valley of the Clueless. Uh, tragically, uh, North Korea is still basically one big Valley of the Clueless. As the Kim family dictators has kept the country for or brainwashed for almost 70 years. And people, un the unlucky people living near the outs outside the border regions or the capital has little choice but to watch only the government propaganda TV channel. So they are essentially cut off from the outside world. So growing up in this environment, I was uh, uh, so brainwashed, even I believed the Little was God who didn't even go to the bathroom, and my country was a paradise. But I slowly began to see the truth when I witnessed a poverty, starvation, and death during the famine in the mid-1990s. I can never forget the shock and heartbreak I felt when I witnessed a dying mother holding her starving child on the street, as well as my friend's humiliation that she couldn't even offer me a lunch because her whole family had nothing to eat. Yet I, I was one of the lucky ones in North Korea since I never suffered hunger. And more importantly, I didn't grow up in the Valley of the Clueless. I grew up on a hill of knowledge since my home was just across the border with China, and we could pick up several Chinese TV channels. So it's illegal in North Korea, so I covered the window with thick, extra thick blankets to prevent light late at night, and I watched secretly in my little world. The Chinese TV uh, completely transformed my life. I not only doubted that my government propaganda that North Korea is the best on the planet, I also developed a strong desire to, to explore to the outside world. Ultimately, thanks to power of technology that spread to spread information, I dared to follow my dreams across the border when I was just 17. Numerous other defectors also have told that they were defected in search of freedom rather than hunger or, or the economic opportunities. But uh, because many North Koreans uh, watched the foreign medias, since even a meaningless drama can raise thoughts about the propaganda. For example, North Koreans are so brainwashed to believe that South Korea is a terribly poor country. So when North Koreans see the South Korean dramas, they actually believed that South Korean movie makers had to gather all the cars in the country at once to film a busy street scenes. 
So um, when North Korean defectors arrived in South Korea, they were completely shocked when they see the crowded street full of video cars. So like defectors, my mom, who lived in the darkness of dictatorship country for almost 60 years, now reveal how North Koreans are shockingly deprived of the everyday technology that we take for granted. Uh, when my mom first arrived in South Korea, she was even afraid to step on the escalator. And when she saw her first ATM, she thought there's a man sitting inside. <laughs> and she said, oh, that little poor man working there all day and without a window. I was completely speechless. Maybe it could be hard to understand for the outsider, but living in North Korea is like living in the completely different universe. As technology has developed over time, the North Korean regime has been forced to play an endless cat and mouse game with the people to prevent outside information. I first witnessed this um, growing up in the 1990s as people began to use watch the VCRs to watch foreign contents. So this threatened the regime's official propaganda. So the authorities had a clever idea. And so they would suddenly uh, cut the power in certain areas, and then they just rush into the homes to check which video uh, tapes were stuck in the video players. So people who had illegal foreign contents were arrested and could be severely punished. But the external information continued to spread as defectors and other people have sent USBs and DVDs into North Korea, as well as um, uh, launching f uh, helium balloons filled with uh, supplies and GPS. The battle over technology, over information, continues under the current dictator, Kim Jong-un, who has strongly cracked down on external contents. So even recently, the leadership have ordered to search his house to house, uh, searches to destroy banned music, like K-pop, they can threaten the regime. But the, the authorities cannot stop the outside information the potential for technology and information to transform North Korea is exponential. New technologies offer amazing opportunities to reach uh, North Korea's uh, the Valley of the Clueless. For example, the mini drones can take videos, also deliver supplies. Also, we have to, we should send smartphones into North Korea to show people how people in modern world can communicate and gather information together. So the uh, opportunities are endless. Due to new technology, and the regime, regime will be, in the end, will be forced to change. So I am filled with great hope for my country's future, and especially standing here today in a formerly divided land that has not only reunified, but prospered. Even the area once called the Valley of the Clueless in the East Germany, now is called the Silicon Saxony, one of Europe's key technology centers. So I firmly believe that my country can follow in Germany's footsteps one day as information can penetrate even the toughest borders. But North Korean people need help to awaken them and inspire them to change, to bring positive change. So we must continue to use technology to open their eyes. As technology and information continue to spread, I know my country will be transformed from the valley of the clueless to years of knowledge. Thank you.